of the and low clouds starting to surge back into the central coast. This is the Pismo camera here today. Fairly mild, but again, the temperature trend is down. That part of the forecast has not changed, and we're going to see that and feel it here over the next couple of days. In fact, I'd argue you can already kind of feel it now at the coast. It's down to 66 in San Luis and just 60 in Santa Maria, 68 Santa Barbara, 59 in Lompoc. The winds are on shore. They are not as windy as yesterday. It is a bit breezy in San Luis, but remember yesterday we actually had a wind advisory in southwest Santa Barbara County. Now, Pass Robles is 81 degrees. The humidity is 34%, so we haven't seen that change drive into the interior yet. I think it will. My forecast for Pass Robles today was 82 awfully close at 81. Elsewhere did well. 75 Santina, 77 in San Luis, 69 degrees in Santa Maria. We're already nine degrees off that and 73 in Santa Barbara. Let's look ahead. The beaches, low clouds pushing in now. They'll be around tomorrow morning. Then a cloud sun mix. Just going to see temperatures in the lower 60s, some of the cooler beaches, coastal valleys pushing back into the mid 60s. These are places that got into the 70s today, so we're losing heat there. South coast temperatures right around 70 degrees. It's going to be a cloud sun mix and the interior valleys working towards 70. And again, 72 degrees, that would be about 10 degrees cooler than we were today. So things are on the move here. You can see what's happening. There is a trough of low pressure and some activity in the Pacific Northwest. It's killing the high pressure that kept us warm here for a little bit. And again, the winds are back decidedly on shore. They're weekly offshore over the last couple of days. Not much going on in our radar, but again, up the Pacific Northwest, this surge of onshore activity and instability driving not only some rain into the West, but also a big snowstorm is developing here in Montana. There's already winter storm advisories. Why? Because I think we're going to see up to two feet of snow in parts of Montana. Now, that's nowhere near us, but it is related to the reason we're cooling down. If you see this big sweeping trough here moving into the west, it noses all the way into California here as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. So it's going to be fairly cool here. Then after that, another system tries to come our direction for the upcoming weekend. Fizzles out essentially on arrival, but it will cool temperatures. Then we're stuck in this big broad trough here for a while, so the temperature trend Trend is definitely going to be down for a bit. 72 past Robles, 65 San Luis, 66 Santa Maria, 65 Lompoc, 69 degrees in Santa Barbara for Wednesday. Beach communities, yeah, we're just looking at 60s, even some upper 50s possible at some beach communities. Into the five cities, Pismo Beach 63, 66 AG, Shandon, California Valley, just low 70s. Overnight lows in the interior, again, on the cooler side in the 40s. Los Alamos 68, 70 in Solvang, 70 Carpinteria, 69 degrees in Goleta. My seven day forecast, you can see that big drop is already here. And then we just kind of stay there until we get into early next week. Then temperatures start nosing up a little bit. But note some of the overnight lows for the weekend in the interior near freezing. That is interesting to folks in the ag industry. Okay, Santa Maria, you've got temperatures in the 60s and then warming a little into the lower 70s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. Santa Barbara temperatures near 70 all the way through Friday, a little cooler for the weekend and then a little warmer as we start getting into next week. It's October, so it's not surprising to see these shifts, but really much of the month had been fairly warm until now. This is definitely a bigger fall like feel.